Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to format your portable device to work with your Mac machine. So right now I have one portable device named EasyTech Class 1TB connect to my Mac, but I actually cannot use this one right now. Even it's showing up on the list of the device, you can see right there on the right side slide bar. But I cannot copy any files into this drive. Let me try to run a file into this. I cannot copy or backup anything on this drive. The reason because it's not format for the Mac machine yet. Actually, this is a portable device that I use on my Windows system. And right now, my Mac running out of the storage, so I have to back up some of the files into this drive. But as you can see right there, I cannot copy a file into this drive or cannot create a new folder. So I actually cannot do anything with it. And I have to reformat this one from Windows system format to the Mac. What we're gonna do right now is reformat this driver to the Mac OS system. Before you reformat this drive, please make sure that you have no files on this drive. If you have any files, please back it up first because the reformatting is going to delete everything and it's very difficult for you to recover the lost files. So make sure that you have nothing important on the drive before you reformat it. For me, I don't have anything so I'm ready. To get started, let's open the Disk Utility tools on the Mac. You can type in Disk Utility. When the disk utility is showing up, select your drive. You can expand this one to see the name of the drive. I'm gonna pick up the EasyTech Class 1 terabyte, and you're gonna pick up the option is Erase. And I can change the name to EasyTech 1 terabyte Mac to specify it's gonna be used for Mac system. The format I can pick up the Mac OS extended. For the scheme, just use the default and then Erase. The system is going to format my portable device to the Mac format system. And you can click into show details to see. And the reformat has been successfully. Now my drive is fully compatible with the Mac and the system asking whether I want to use this one to back up with the time machines. I can decide later and click done. Now when you go back to the fighter and open up the drive, you can actually open a new file window to move file. And now you can drag new file into the drive. You see right there. Right now I'm able to drag any file into my portable device. I can create new folder. And drag file into the new folder. So now my portable drive is fully compatible with my Mac system and I can use it to backup files to use with time machine or whatever I want on this drive. In today's video, I share with you guys a very quick tips on using these utility tools to reformat the portable device to use the Mac format system. Thank you for the watching.